What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So boy Shingi, as usually you know what it is. I'm so excited to be back. I haven't posted a video in a week, which is like ugh, crazy. I missed last week, but it's okay. It was for a really good reason. I just needed to really unwind, recoup, get my mental back, spiritually be enlightened, and I also had a exhibit. I also had a photo exhibit. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of footage over here. And yeah, it was such an incredible experience, guys. So a collective in Toronto reached out to me and they were like, Shingy, we really love your content. We really want to support your content as well as other creatives, other black creatives. It was a black creative exhibit and it was incredible. Met a whole bunch of cool people, met a whole bunch of cool artists, connected with them, which means there's gonna be a lot more content with a lot more different people and you guys are gonna absolutely love these people when you guys meet them but let's get straight to this video so when I was submitting photos I felt very anxious I was I wasn't sure if I was able to print a big shooting 35 millimeter so this video is on do not be afraid to print big shooting 35 mil that's the whole entire video so do not be afraid guys do not be afraid it's all good you could print really big i know we have this assumption that you know 35 mil old film camera so much grain and all that kind of stuff do not be afraid you could print pretty big it is still gonna look really incredible what really matters guys is your scan so make sure the scan is a high 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 quality you could also render it as a tiff file and also you could also request that at the lab if you do not scan your own stuff you could ask the lab okay guys i really want a tiff file because this is content for the exhibit and all that kind of stuff and you could actually bring back your old negatives this is the beautiful thing about film you could bring back your old negatives if you had a scan as jpeg they could actually rescan the whole negative which is why you gotta take care of your negatives you can rescan all your negs and you get a tiff file out of that which is a high quality and when you send it over to like the printing place they'll have so many options to tweak and make your picture perfect and the quality is going to to be incredible this is why it's really really important for you guys to take care of your negatives it's really really important take good care of your negatives don't be like me earlier on I wasn't taking care of my negatives now when I look back I'm like oh shit I probably should have taken care of them because I could get a higher quality print which means the best quality possible but with that being said so guys, you know me, instead of just telling you something, I'm gonna show you guys a solution. Here is how you take care of your negative. You could go pick one of these things up. I don't know what they're called. Pick one of these up. They're straight, they're strictly for film. So pick one of these up. Your film is protected. There's no dust, there's no scratches, and all that kind of stuff. And it makes it really, really organized, guys. Like I have so many negatives, and this makes it so much better, so much easier because I have one shoot, two shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like all my shoots are here and it's all in order things aren't scattered you don't have a negative there and a negative here really look into one of these books i got it from my camera store look into one of them the one i'm using for my six by seven for those that shoot the rb is this one it fits all 10 and it fits like so be very aware of which one you're buying because they are different guys they're all different so make sure you buy the correct one if you don't it won't fit because six by seven is a bigger negative and six four five is a bigger negative is a smaller negative i mean <laughs> six by six is a different negative as well so be sure you pick the one that fits your camera and what you shoot very very important so let's just say hypothetically you did not get the tip file you lost the negative you don't know what to do don't be afraid send in your pictures you can still print big with these so with all these pictures i'm about to show you guys i actually i actually sent in the jpegs that was scanned by the lab and i believe they're like four to five six megabytes and look at how good that scan is look at how good that scan is that is a really 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 clean scan and again guys this is actually a scan from the lab the one that everybody gets so look at this i think this is 11 by 14 i'm not sure how big this is actually a very big size as you could tell 
from my head and all that kind of stuff. And look at look at the detail in these guys. Come on, look at these. These came out so 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 good. I'm gonna bring the camera over here and I'll show you guys the detail. Again, guys, don't be afraid to print big shooting 35 mil. I can't even imagine how good it's gonna look on medium format, but just 35 mil looks really incredible. I had a friend that printed actually way bigger than this, way bigger than this, and I believe this is um oh my god, I think this is like a uh, 12 by 18. I believe 12 by 18 it's a very long picture it came out really incredible this is huge guys this is really really big yeah so like yeah don't be afraid to print big shooting 35 it is still gonna look really yummy really crispy I actually believe it or not I actually prefer seeing my prints in 35 mil as opposed to digital you see the grain it feels like a picture do you know what I mean it feels like a picture and there's something about it there's something about it but I want to leave that for the next video I don't want this video to get too long so I want to leave that for the next video don't be afraid to print your stuff big it's the boy Shingy as usually you know what it is follow me on Instagram at shop by Shingy and follow my portfolio at shopbyshingy.com I actually just recently updated my portfolio so actually you could go on my website and you can see some unseen pictures before it was a click and there's one picture that pops up now there's actual shoots in there so head over to the website and check out all the shoots in the previous things it's still being updated so you're not gonna see all the shoots there but there's a lot that you haven't seen and with that being said follow the brand at shopwaybetterco.com I'm actually currently wearing a shoot film hat and I also got a shoe film sweater. You already know what it is. I'm so, 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 so excited. And last but not least, follow at We Photo Gods and also hashtag while posting your most latest picture, hashtag We Photo Gods to get featured. Guys, We Photo Gods is getting a lot of exposure. A lot of photographers are getting to know each other. It's becoming a really big community. So go and hashtag at We Photo Gods and you get your picture featured if I really, really like it. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys again for tuning in. Shout out to everybody subscribing. The channel's growing really fast. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. You guys are incredible. And I'm so excited to bring you guys more work. Touches!